Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Now, I've told you guys this for a while. I've been a big fan of, um, well, not, not necessarily Kim Zosiak, but I watched her family show. Y'all know I, I've been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta from day one. And so when she met Croy at the time, he was young. I think he's like maybe five, six years younger than her. He was playing for the Atlanta Falcons. He adopted her daughters. And they ended up getting their own spinoff show called Don't Be Tardy for the Party. Okay? And I watched it. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the little kids, they were off the chain. Her older kids were off the chain. But Croy seemed like a really, really good man. Um, and he wanted to just, you know, blend the family together. And so they've been going through this really crazy breakup. And um, she's caught the police on him. Um, just different things, them arguing. One minute they're getting divorced, the next minute they're not. We've been covering this on Instagram. So the other day, Croy literally went crazy. Um, and he was caught on pol um, police surveillance camera. And it, it's really sad. It's really sad to watch. I'm hoping this plays because I don't know why they, today I got time because did not play. So if this does not play, let me know because I also have it on YouTube. But you know how you got to freeze the frame so that way YouTube doesn't um, clock it. So hopefully this will play. Let me know if it does not play, you guys. Give me just a second. I'm going to... Um, Share my screen really quick here. Because we got to watch this. This this broke my heart. I'm going to let it play real quick. Let me know if y'all can hear it. Right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. <laughs> can y'all hear it? Because I can hear it. I don't know why today I got time because didn't play. I can hear this just fine. Can y'all hear it? I want to make sure y'all can hear it. Okay, y'all can hear it? Okay, perfect. So we're gonna watch this together. We're gonna watch this. What's going on about? We're just having an argument. About what? About our fucking life. Okay, what What happened? What, why, why is why, our life? It's destroyed. But, okay, what started the argument? Her inability to fucking solve problems. Okay, or address come, come or do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I wanna talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and and have a whole it's a, argument. It's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay. What does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't. I'm not going to do this because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who, what kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. We, so we've what, been outside what, this whole time. What, 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 what was the argument about? Our life. What the, our life. Okay, and it's so fucking why, destroyed. Why, why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life. Hmm. I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. You want to live this motherfucker? Look, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have lasted for down. a year. Hmm. You wouldn't have lasted a day in this fucking house. Hmm. What's going on, Miss Fairman? I just feel like I'm, I've just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person, like a crazy person. All right, y'all. Whew. Let me say this. Because so many times people like to dismiss men's feelings. And so many times we act like how men feel in relationships don't matter. I have been watching them from day one. Okay. And I remember everybody rooting for him because 
Not only was he a young man, think about this. This was a young man from Montana. He's not Hollywood at all. And to make it from Montana all the way to the Atlanta Falcons, right? That's like every young man's dream to play in the NFL, NBA. So, you know, he won the NFL lottery. He ends up meeting Kim. And she already has, you know, two daughters by two different men. He has no children. But in spite the fact, he still chose to marry her. He adopted her daughters. Then they ended up having about four more kids together. She even put her old ass eggs in jeopardy to have kids because she knew, you know, he's an Atlanta Falcon. He has money. Let me go ahead and pump, on some, pump out some babies. Remember, she almost like died during childbirth a few times. And so to see Croy breaking down like that, I feel so bad for him because if you guys watch the show, that's not his demeanor. Corey is usually the most calmest. He's very frugal. He try to give those girls, you know, some type of like um, boundaries, you know, set things in stone with them as a parent. And so many times it's so dismissive. Even the way the cop was talking to him just kind of condescendingly. Calm down. What's the big deal? That is a man who's at his wit's end. That is a man who's waking up and seeing that he's lost everything. Everything that, they, that he's worked for. Is gone down the drain because of her gambling addiction and because she wants to floss on social media for people who do not matter. Her spending habits were ridiculous. They were living far above their means because of her and putting on this persona and this lifestyle for social media, for reality television, when all he wanted to live was a humble life. And she keeps on playing with this man and playing these little games because there's nothing worse, there's nothing more dangerous than a man who feels like he has nothing to lose and that he's lost it all. So Kim, you better stop playing these little games with him because what I hear is somebody who's at their wit's end, who is depressed, who realizes he has lost everything. He doesn't even have his family because Kim made him estranged from his own family. Remember, she cut off her own family too when she blew up. She stopped talking to her mom and her daddy and she did the same thing with his family. And you keep messing with this man and keep playing these little games so you can get on the blogs and get, and get attention. He might go postal on the whole family. I've never, ever heard Croy like that. I was shocked when I seen that video pop up the other day. I'm like, this is a man who is broken. Imagine to, like, I don't understand especially when young kids are in sports. And this is, this is like a lifelong thing from the time they're in third grade and they're playing flag football and they're putting their bodies at risk. And, you know, then you go from that to, you know, football after school, then junior high football, then high school football. Then he ends up going to the NFL and this man has nothing to show for it. We don't talk a lot about men's mental health. That's why I always say the right person can either make or break you. And you have to be very selective with who you get with. Just like with the Kiki Palmer situation. You know, Croy wanted a family. He's from, you know, the Montana. He was cool living just like a regular small life. But he picked the wrong woman. And this woman has literally destroyed him. You could hear the pain in his voice. He says, I have nothing. I have nothing left. And then she goes on social media and she does this. This was on page six today. She thinks, you know, she's selling his stuff, slicing the prices, thinking this is funny. And this is why I don't envy any of these people in Hollywood on reality television. Because most of them don't really have anything. They just have a name. So now she's on um, the internet selling his luggage and things. Half price. Hey guys, this is all only carried one time. A Louis Vuitton men's duffel bag. This is a garment bag. And this is a garment bag which is really cool because they don't even make them with the hangers anymore. And then, of course, the little rolling um, bag as well. Excellent condition. Like I said, he carried it one time on the road to one of his football games.
Okay guys, this is all only carried one time. A Louis Vuitton men's duffel bag. This is a garment bag. And this is a garment bag, which is really cool because they don't even make them with the hangers anymore. And then of course the little rolling um, bag as well. Excellent condition. Like I said, he carried it one time on the road to one of his football games. All right. So y'all just saw that video. Um, it's it's just really sad. I'm 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 heartbroken for them because like I said, and again, we don't know the ins and outs of anybody's relationship, right? Because we're not in there. But from what was shown, he was definitely trying to give the family and those girls structure. He was always telling her, like, you know, you don't need the latest wig. We don't need the latest this and that. But because of wanting to put on a persona, there, there's no reason why they've made all this money from reality television. Most of the black girls that have been on Real, uh, on Real Housewives have never gotten a spinoff. Outside of Candy, most of them have never gotten a spinoff. She was blessed enough to get a spinoff. She's made more than enough money where she could have bought a home outright. She could have paid for that home outright. The fact that the home is going into foreclosure, they're in bankruptcy, it makes no sense. But that is a man at his wit's end. And I suggest, Kim, you stop picking and poking at this man before he goes postal on you and your family. I've never heard him like that, ever. And like I said, I've been watching them from the time she first got with him when Sheree hooked them up at that party to their spinoff show. I've watched every episode. I have no shame in saying that. I was a fan of their show. And for this man to have lost everything because of her, her antics and her gambling, it's terrible. It's terrible. When they met each other, he drove an old ass pickup truck. He wasn't into Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces and stuff like that. And this is why people have to learn to live within their means and stop fronting, you know what I'm saying, for people who don't matter. Everybody's out here putting on these facades and now we're seeing these facades crumbling. So this whole situation is just really, really, it's, 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 heart, it's heartbreaking, you know? And, and you have people saying, oh, you know, he's acting crazy right now. Um, he needs to chill out. If that was a woman, if the genders were reversed, nobody would be telling her to chill out. They'd be saying, oh, that man drove her to that. That man drove that woman crazy. She has the right to rant and rave. He has every right to be upset and to speak his mind and not to be gaslit and told to calm down. Because trust me, she was pulling a Karen and going off and screaming. The police would have just let her. So the whole situation is just sad. At the end of the day, relationships are a two-way street. And anybody in a relationship, male or female, there has to be a respect factor. You have to treat people the way you want to be treated. And just because it's a man does not mean that they don't have emotions, feelings, that they don't, you know, that they're not at their wit's end, that they're not stressed out, having to figure out, you know, how they're going to pay their next bill, the lights, where they're going to go. I can imagine the stress that's on that man to play in the NFL, to go through all that, to, to quote unquote make it, only to lose it to a gold digger. It's sad. It's really sad. Somebody said they blame women every day. Well, no, it's not about people blaming women every day. It's about holding this woman particularly accountable because she keeps playing these little games, these social media games with that man. And like I said, if he snaps and he wakes up and offs the whole family, then everybody's gonna be, oh my gosh, oh, we didn't see this coming. Quit poking the bear. That goes for everybody, men or women. If you're gonna separate, separate and go y'all separate ways. Cause we are living in very, very bad times right now. Y'all keep, you know what I'm saying, trying to touch the stove trying to see if it's hot, you might wake up with a bullet. So quit playing with people, male or female. Because again, like I said, 
if the roles were reversed, there'd be a lot more sympathy. And I'm not saying that he doesn't hold any of the blame because again, he's a grown man. He was also there for the lifestyle and he got in over his head. But I see the games that are being played on her end. Her trying to be the sole victim. Neither one of them are blameless. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.